Hey guys, oh, I haven't made a video in a while, so sorry about that. And a uh, quick video now about how to set up the status bar on DWM. Right, so who asked me this? Linux Tech asked me how to make a tutorial, and he's asking how I have these things on the top right. I should make the f should have made the font bigger for you guys, but I couldn't be bothered. So uh, up here, as you can see, um, let's change the screen. I have uh, the available memory, uh, something to do with my, my, my up and down, the temperature, my IP address, my battery, and the date and time. And how do you do this? It's actually very, very simple D, uh, with DWM. This is why I love DWM. To set that, to set that, um, um, that little top right menu bar, I just use X, X set root name and something. You know, I can just put like, uh, just put to the date and you can see it just flashes the date but it gets replaced because I have a script that simply keeps the the status bar up to date every second so it's very easy to sort of programmatically write to the status bar it's also easy to read from it but let's just focusing let's focus on how I get some stuff there I have a script called DWM status which is uh, launched from my XNRC and in my in my DWM status, I have it's just a, some shell script. You can find it. I'll link to it uh, from the description. Um, this bit here, I think, works out how intensively I'm using the network. This prints out the volume. Hmm. Do I even use that one? I don't think I do. I just have the function, but I don't use it. Uh, this gives me some Wi-Fi details because I like to know a little bit about the Wi-Fi I'm connected to. Um, it's quite difficult to calculate um, how much memory you have left. So I've taken up, I've taken the reverse approach by, by, by telling me how much memory is available. I uh, hope that makes sense. Temperature, batteries, all important. Uh, ideally, I would have some sort of. Uh, well, I've actually set up a system D thing to actually just shut down my machine when it gets to like one percent or something. Um, but it would be nice if I actually could color that status bar. I haven't figured out how to do that. Some people use icons on the top right there, but I don't. And na namely because um, it, it, when I'm on a new machine, the icons can be kind of difficult to install. So I just keep it to uh, Latin, whatever characters, nothing, nothing special. And then this is the all important loop that gets run and but, and this is and this is where you know the memory is printed, the network stuff, uh, speeds are printed, the temperature, the Wi-Fi, the battery. So it's just a little script. And if you launch an editor, you can edit it and make it, make the status bar just how you like it. It's it's very simple. And um, if you have any questions, please ask, and I'll do my bit to help. And I hope hopefully this uh, help you get started. Thanks, guys, for watching.